Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Sinatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today's video is brought to you by Picmonic, the best animated medical mnemonics on the face of the planet. Now it's time to talk about genetic diseases. My previous Picmonic videos include four parts of microbiology, a video on lipid lowering agents in pharmacology, and developmental psychology. You can watch all of them in my playlist titled Picmonic Medicosis. Today, we'll talk about Down syndrome, Edward syndrome, Patau syndrome, Gris du Chat syndrome, Williams syndrome. We'll also talk about the quad screen. Normally, you have 44 somatic chromosomes and two sex chromosomes. In females, you can write it this way, 46, including XX, or 44 plus XX. Males are 46, including XY, or 44 plus XY. However, Down syndrome is a trisomy. What does that mean? Instead of having 46 chromosomes, now I have 47 chromosomes. The extra chromosome is found at chromosome 21. So normally, if you look at my 21st chromosome, you'll find two copies, one from mommy and one from daddy. But in Down syndrome, you find three copies of chromosome 21. Down syndrome patients suffer from intellectual disability, prominent epicanthal fold, a single pulmonary craze, congenital heart disease, and there is a high risk of Alzheimer's dementia. Down syndrome is a genetic disorder described in this picmonic by the Down syndrome man. Down syndrome, also known as trisomy 21, represented by the tricycle 21 ID, is caused by the presence of all or part of a third copy of chromosome 21. This replication error is most commonly caused by meiotic non-disjunction, illustrated by the extra chromosome bow tie. Now, Down syndrome is the most common genetic cause of mental retardation, represented by the Reed Tard book, and patients also display distinct dysmorphic features. These include a simian crease on the palm, depicted by the simian with a simian crease, which is described as a single prominent horizontal line across the palm, along with flat facies, the flattened face. Those with Down syndrome also have gastrointestinal abnormalities, such as an increased risk of being born with duodenal atresia, the duodenal atresia tree, and developing Hirschsprung's disease, the Hershey spring. Let's move on to how Down syndrome affects the heart. While the majority of atrial septal defects are of the septum secundum type, Down syndrome is most commonly associated with a septum primum type ASD, or atrial septal defect, portrayed here as the ASD septor. Additionally, patients develop endocardial cushion defects, the heart cushion. Another distinct feature in those with Downs is the existence of prominent epicanthal folds in the face, shown literally as epicanthal folds in the image. Children with Down syndrome have a markedly increased risk for acute lymphoblastic leukemia, the up arrow risk of the acute angle lime blasting leukemia leuk. Finally, this trisomy also has a link with the development of Alzheimer's dementia symptoms in their late 40s or early 50s, shown as the old timer. So let's recap Down syndrome. This is also known as trisomy 21 and occurs as a result of meiotic non-disjunction. Patients display mental retardation, a simian crease of the palm, and have characteristic flat facies. They are at a higher risk of developing duodenal atresia and Hirschsprung's disease, along with septum primum type ASD and endocardial cushion defects. Remember that Down syndrome patients have prominent epicanthal folds. These patients have an increased risk of acute lymphoblastic leukemia and can develop Alzheimer's disease earlier than normal. Down syndrome is trisomy 21, caused by meiotic non-disjunction. There was an intellectual disability, simian crease, flat facies, duodenal atresia, Hirschsprung disease, endocardial cushion defect, usually ASD. What kind of ASD? Septum primum. We had prominent epicanthal folds. There was increased risk of acute lymphoblastic leukemia and increased risk of early onset Alzheimer's dementia. Next, we'll talk about Edward syndrome. This is trisomy 18. Which one is more common, Down syndrome or Edward syndrome? Down syndrome is way more common. There is also intellectual disability, but then we have rocker bottom feet, clenched fist with overlapping fingers, prominent occiput, Meckel's diverticulum, and others. Edwards syndrome is a chromosomal abnormality characterized in this picmonic as Edward Scissorhands. It is caused by non-disjunction, leading to a third copy of genetic material from chromosome 18, which is why Edwards syndrome is also referred to as trisomy 18, the tricycle 18 ID at the voting booth. Half of the infants born with this condition do not survive beyond the first week of life, and some children can survive to teenage years. However, they have serious medical and developmental problems. Patients that do survive display severe intellectual disability, and we depicted this as the Reed-Tard book for mental retardation. 
The major phenotypic features of Edwards syndrome include a foot deformity referred to as rocker bottom feet, the rocking chair with the rocker bottom feet, along with VSD, or ventricular septal defects, shown as the V-ventricle septal heart defect. Children also display clenched hands, illustrated by the large clenched fist, and have overlapping fingers, shown literally in this image, with the second and fifth digits overlapping on the third and fourth digits, respectively. Facial characteristics of this chromosomal abnormality include low-set ears, shown as the low-set ears on this character, along with a small jaw, or micronathia, portrayed by the small jaw with the micronaths, and a prominent occiput, the prominent octopus. Edwards syndrome is also associated with omphalocele, the O full of eels, where gastrointestinal organs protrude from a midline peritoneal sac in addition to Meckel's diverticulum, the Meckel mouse diver. Up to 20% of patients can have a congenital renal malformation called horseshoe kidney, shown as the horseshoe kidneys. Finally, Edwards syndrome is also associated with malrotation of the gut, illustrated as the mallet rotating the intestines. So, let's quickly break down Edwards syndrome. This is also known as trisomy 18, and this typically results from non-disjunction of chromosome 18, leading to three chromosomal copies. Patients display intellectual disability along with rocker bottom feet. VSD is associated with Edwards syndrome, and children with this disorder display clenched hands with overlapping fingers. Facial features include low-set ears, micronathia, and a prominent occiput. GI abnormalities associated with this syndrome include omphalocele and Meckel's diverticulum. Commonly, patients have a horseshoe kidney and can develop malrotation of the gut. Edward syndrome is trisomy 18. There was intellectual disability, rock or bottom feet, ventricular septal defect, a clenched fist with overlapping fingers, low sit ear, micronathia, prominent occiput, omphalocele, horseshoe kidney, and malrotation of the intestine. The third disease that we'll talk about is Patau syndrome. This is trisomy 13. There is severe intellectual disability. Microcephaly, what does that mean? The head is very small. Holoprosencephaly, what is the prosencephalon? Prosencephalon is the forebrain. Oh, so the forebrain did not divide. There is no right hemisphere and left hemisphere. There is just one hemisphere, one sphere. That's why they have severe intellectual disability. There is polydactyly, like more than five fingers, six fingers, seven fingers cleft lip and cleft palate. Patau syndrome, depicted by the paddles, is a chromosomal disorder seen in infants. It is caused by trisomy 13, portrayed by the man wearing a Friday the 13th mask riding a tricycle. The extra chromosome 13 disrupts normal development, and as a result, many infants do not survive beyond the first few weeks of life. Those that survive are often severely intellectually disabled or mentally retarded, shown by reading the tarred book. Clinically, infants may display microcephaly, the small head, or holoprosencephaly, the brain with the halo. They may also have small eyes and extra fingers, known as microphthalmia, the small pea eyes, and polydactyly, polyparrots with extra fingers. Other findings include cleft lip and palate, the cleft correct plates, and rocker bottom feet, the rocking chair with rocker bottom feet. Patel syndrome can also affect various organs. For example, cystic kidneys can be seen, portrayed by the kidney with multiple cysts, as well as cardiac defects like VSDs, shown by the vase heart with a hole in it. So in summary, Patel syndrome is caused by trisomy 13. Most patients don't survive past infancy. Those that survive can suffer from intellectual disability. Physical findings can include microcephaly, holoprosencephaly, microphthalmia, and polydactyly. Patients may also have cleft lip and palate, rocker bottom feet, cystic kidneys, and cardiac defects like VSDs. All right, Patau syndrome is trisomy 13. There is severe intellectual disability, microcephaly, holoprosencephaly, microphthalmia, polydactyly, cleft lip and palate, rocker bottom feet, cystic kidney and ventricular septal defect. So let me show you how we name a chromosome. So this is a chromatid, this is a chromatid, and that's a centromere. Let's talk about these chromatids. You have short arm and long arm. What's that in the middle? Centromere. So you have two arms, short and long. The short is P for petit in French, and the Q is the long arm. Each arm is divided into regions. We have first and second regions. And each region is divided into bands. 
So for example, P1 has just one band, but P2 has band one and band two. And then each band is subdivided into sub bands. So band number one has sub band one, two, three, and four. So let's name every sub band. How about this one right here? Let's start from the beginning. This is P2, 2.3, like this. Let's name this one. This is P2, 1.1, like this. How about this band? This is Q2, 8. Wow, it's that easy. Which brings us to Clidocha syndrome. What's the problem? Deletion of the short arm of chromosome 5. And the short arm is P, so you can write 5P minus, so 5P deletion. There is intellectual disability, microcephaly, and high-pitched crying, which sounds like the cry of a cat. Epicanthal folds, like what? Like Down syndrome, NVSD. Like Edwards and Patau. But not Down syndrome, because Down syndrome mostly had ASD. Cree de Shaw syndrome, named for the French term for cry of the cat, is a rare genetic disorder described by the crying cat in this picmonic, who is trying to play with all the other toys. This disorder is caused by a congenital deletion of the short arm of the chromosome 5P, depicted here as the chromosome cutting off the 5 hand on the short arm. Cree de Shaw is named after the characteristic cry of affected individuals who display a high-pitched cry or mewing noise represented here by the high-pitched crying meow. Other features of this disorder include microcephaly, the small head, along with hypotonia at birth, shown as the floppy hippo baby, which later progresses to hypertonia and increased muscle tone as individuals get older. For children, this poor muscle tone manifests as difficulty sucking and swallowing, illustrated as this child with difficulty sucking, Characteristic facial features seen in Cree du Shah include bilateral epicanthal folds, shown literally as the epicanthal folds on the face, widely spaced eyes, or orbital hypertellurism, also depicted literally as wide spaced eyes, along with a wide and flat nasal bridge, seen here as the wide and flat nasal bridge on the character. Patients also have a high arched palate, portrayed as the high arched art palate, and less often can have cleft lip and palate. Additionally, those with Cree du Shaw display intellectual disability or mental retardation, the retard book, and can develop cardiac abnormalities shown as the abnormal heart. These abnormalities include ventricular septal defect, atrial septal defect, patent ductus arteriosus, and tetralogy of Fallot. Let's give Cree du Shaw syndrome a once-over. This is a congenital disorder caused by the microdeletion of the short arm of chromosome 5P. Cree du Shaw roughly translates to cry of the cat in French and is named as so because of the high-pitched cries and mewing displayed by those affected. Patients show microcephaly and display hypotonia, which leads to difficulty sucking and swallowing. Facial features of Cree du Shaw include epicanthal folds, widely spaced eyes, a wide and flat nasal bridge, and a high arched palate. Those affected display intellectual disability or mental retardation and have a propensity towards developing cardiac abnormalities such as VSD, ASD, PDA, and Tetralogy of Fallot. Okie dokie, Cree du Chat. What's the problem? 5P deletion. There's microcephaly, hypotonia, epicanthal folds, widely spaced eyes, and there is white flat nasal bridge. There is a high arch palate, intellectual disability, cardiac anomalies like VSD. William syndrome, microdilation of the long arm of chromosome 7. This is different from Cri du Chat because Cri du Chat was the short arm of 5, but Williams is the long arm of 7. There is intellectual disability, elfin facies, and the patient is extra friendly. The Down syndrome child is also friendly, but not as much as William syndrome. Williams syndrome, portrayed in this picmonic by Will the Elf, is a rare neurodevelopmental disorder caused by a microdeletion of the long arm of chromosome 7, shown by the long arm pulling the chromosome 7 slot machine. This deletion affects the elastin gene, represented by the elastic pants, as this gene is found on chromosome 7's long arm. Characteristically, those with Williams syndrome present with elfin faces, the elf costume, along with intellectual disability or mental retardation. The Retard Book. A hallmark attribute of these individuals includes a lack of social inhibition, displaying extreme friendliness with strangers, illustrated as the elf talking to strangers. Despite physical and cognitive deficits, those with Williams syndrome exhibit well-developed verbal skills, 
shown by the elf talking. Patients also commonly have cardiovascular problems, represented by the heart, as well as hypercalcemia, the hypercalcified cow, which is caused by increased sensitivity to vitamin D, portrayed by Viking D. Daisy. So to sum it up, Williams syndrome is a neurodevelopmental disorder caused by a microdeletion of the long arm of chromosome 7. On this chromosome is the elastin gene, which subsequently is deleted. Patients display elfin facies and intellectual disability. They are extremely friendly with strangers, and despite other developmental delays, they have well-developed verbal skills. Patients typically have cardiovascular problems and have hypercalcemia as a result of increased vitamin D sensitivity. So what's the problem in Williams syndrome? Microdeletion of the long arm of chromosome 7, elastin gene defect, elfin facies, intellectual disability, the verbal skills are well developed and the child talks to strangers. There are some cardiovascular problems. The increased sensitivity to vitamin D will lead to hypercalcemia. So let's imagine that you are a doctor and a pregnant woman came to you and asked, do you think my baby has Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, Edward syndrome, or Patau syndrome? Before you order the expensive genetic test, there are other tests called the quad screen that are way easier and way cheaper. And these include four things, beta HCG, inhibin A, estriol, and alpha fetoproteins. In Down syndrome, the first two are high, the second two are low. Turner syndrome, first and second are very high. In Edwards syndrome, everything is low. Patau, everything is normal. Mnemonics time. Remember Down syndrome are pleasant children. They love talking to strangers. What do they say to strangers? Hi, H and I. So the HCG and inhibin are high. How about Edwards? Remember that the patient had low set ear and everything is low. Another mnemonic for Edwards, the clenched fist was pointing upwards, but all the lab results are pointing downwards. Last, Patau is peaceful. Everything is normal. Use this picmonic to help you properly interpret the results of a quad screen, shown by the four screen display representing the interactions between these markers and their corresponding defects. This is a blood test done between the 15th and 20th weeks of pregnancy to screen for various aneuploidies and birth defects. The four markers of a quad screen include the AFP, or alpha fetoprotein level, represented by the Air Force pilot, estriol, the extraterrestrial, HCG, the hardcore gnome, and inhibin A, represented by the inhibiting chain's apple tree. By combining these markers, we're able to interpret their levels to help predict chromosomal abnormalities, or aneuploidies, or birth defects. Use the mnemonic, Down syndrome is high, to help you remember that Down syndrome is predicted with high HCG and inhibin A levels. The H in HCG and I in inhibin A spell high. This is shown by the child with Down syndrome saying high. Moving on, Turner syndrome is very high, with extra emphasis on the H and I in high. This mnemonic means that very high levels of HCG and inhibin A are predictive of Turner syndrome in the fetus, represented by the turnip saying high. Use the mnemonic, Edward is a low heap, for the results in Edward syndrome. Just remember Edward's body as a low heap on the ground. The H in heap corresponds to the low HCG, the E to the low estriol, and the AP to the low AFP. Finally, Patau syndrome can be described as having normal quad screen values, and in particular, AFP is normal which is represented in this picmonic by the paddles being launched from a ground or normal level by the Air Force pilot. So, let's quickly summarize how to interpret quad screen results. The important markers are AFP, estriol, HCG, and inhibin A. Using these four markers, we can predict specific defects like Down syndrome, which has a high HCG and inhibin A, or Turner syndrome, which has a very high HCG and inhibin A. Edward syndrome has a low HCG, estriol, and AFP. In Patau syndrome, AFP is normal, as are all other quad screen values. So what is the quad screen? You have beta HCG, you have inhibin A, estriol, and alpha fetoprotein. Down syndrome is saying high. Beta HCG is high, and inhibin is high. How about Turner syndrome is also high. So elevated beta HCG and elevated inhibin. Edward syndrome is heap. 
In the ash heap, everything is low. In Edwards syndrome, inhibin A could be low or could be normal. How about Patau syndrome? Patau is peaceful, everything is normal. And if you wanna strengthen your memory, use your memory. Down syndrome is trisomy 21, meiotic non-disjunction, semi increase, flat faces, duodenal atresia, Hirschsprung disease, endocardial cushion defect, atrial septal defect, particularly septum primum, prominent epicanthal folds, increased risk of lymphoma and early Alzheimer's disease. Edward syndrome, trisomy 18, intellectual disability, rocker bottom feet, ventricular septal defect, clenched fist and overlapping fingers, low set ears and micronathia, prominent occiput, omphalocele, Meckel's diverticulum, horse show, kidney, intestinal rotation. Patau syndrome is trisomy 13. There is microcephaly, severe intellectual disability, microphthalmia, polydactyly, cleft lip and palate, rocker bottom feet, cystic kidney disease, and also ventricular septal defect. Cri du chat, let's go. What's that? Congenital deletion of the short arm of chromosome 5. There is high pitched crying like a cat. Microcephaly, hypotonia. Epicanthal folds, widely spaced eyes, wide and flat, nasal bridge, high arched palate, intellectual disability and cardiac anomalies. Williams syndrome, microdilation of the long arm of chromosome 7. Look at this long arm right here. What's the gene defect? Elastin. Intellectual disability, the patient is very pleasant among strangers and with well-developed verbal skills. Heart disease, I and I am increasingly sensitive to vitamin D, which causes hypercalcemia. Down syndrome, beta HCG is high, inhibin A is high. How about Turner? Same thing. How about Edward, the ash heap, everything is low. Patau is peaceful, everything is normal. I've been using Picmonic for the last eight years and this is my methodology. Please do these steps in order. The more senses you involve, the greater the outcome. Spaced repetition is the best. You can browse by your favorite book and you can also browse by systems or by subjects. Every day they will give you a quiz. They have more than 1,400 Picmonics on the website. The link is in the description box below. When it comes to bacteriology, they have Picmonics about all of these and even more, and we have discussed some of them in my previous videos. My favorite Picmonic subjects are microbiology, pharmacology, genetic diseases, and OBGYN, but they have Picmonics about almost everything. You can also download their app on your phone or tablet, and you can even watch these Picmonics in double the playback speed. So what are you waiting for? Go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis and they will hook you up. Thank you Picmonic for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching. I love you. As always be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense and Picmonic where learning medicine is really really fun.